Tertullian betrayed the Catholic Church. Many Trinitarians throughout the centuries have claimed that the Trinity doctrine was developed by a man by the name of Tertullian in the third century. Now, this is not true because the, the, the first man or bishop to coin the word Trinity was a man by the name of Theophilus of Antioch. He is the one that developed or began teaching on the Trinity. I believe that the reason that most Trinitarians do not cite Theophilus is because by going or referring to Theophilus, they have to admit that Greek philosophy was employed to bring about this teaching. The Greek philosophy of the Logos. In the writings of Tertullian, he admits that he was acquainted and was also in accordance with Greek philosophy. In his writings, he reveals how the Logos theology that he employed was taken from the Greeks. The Gnostic Valentinus and his emanations. Tertullian was accused by the majority of Christians to be following Valentinus, the greatest Gnostic of his time. They accused Tertullian of teaching emanations, which is a term used for the way the Gnostics believed that God be God, or he had other gods. Gnostic baptism in three names and three times. As a result of Tertullian's philosophy and dealings with the Gnostics, his beliefs took him further to interpret baptism, I'm talking about water baptism, as being done in three persons and three times. This is not what the Bible teaches. The Bible does not teach to baptize three times and in three names. The Bible teaches to baptize in the singular name of Jesus Christ. All you have to do is look into the book of Acts and you will see all the apostles baptizing every single convert into the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. The majority of Christians rejected Tertullian and his philosophy. It is incredible how Tertullian admits that it was the majority of Christians who opposed him. The majority of Christians did not believe in a triune God or they did not believe in a trinity. The majority of Christians were monarchian, as Tertullian wrote, and they held to there being only one God and at the same time, they taught that Jesus Christ the, was the manifestation or revelation of that one God. So, in other words, Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. Tertullian left the Catholic Church and became a Montanist. Tertullian, who was held to be the developer of the Trinity doctrine, was also its greatest enemy because history reveals that Tertullian left the Catholic Church to become a Montanist. We don't know why he did this, uh, but it is clear that Tertullian did not agree with the Catholic Church after a time. The greatest theologian of the Trinity, according to most, deserted his post to become something else. Mm -hmm.